In June 2021, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle announced the birth of their second child, daughter Lilibet Diana Mountbatten-Windsor. Unlike the birth of nearly every other member of the royal family, Lilibet's birth was not a grand announcement in England. In fact, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex waited until two days after she was born to announce her birth. This move deviated greatly from the typical royal family birth protocol, which is to capture a photo of the mother and newborn baby just a day or two after the mother gives birth to the newest member of the royal family. <laughs> you really are having a baby! Having a baby! Though it has been four months since her birth, Harry and Meghan have yet to share what Lilibet looks like in a single photograph. This proves just how different Harry and Meghan's lives are since they left their official royal duties behind in January 2020. Stranger still, though it might also be a result of the COVID-19 pandemic, is that the royal family has yet to meet Lilibet in person. However, Queen Elizabeth II has been lucky enough to meet her virtually, at least. Prince Harry's father, Prince Charles, is reportedly particularly unhappy about not yet meeting Lilibet. Royal expert Nick Bullen told Us Weekly, I think Prince Charles really wants to meet his granddaughter. Prince Charles is incredibly sad about everything that's gone on, so the family will want to meet each other. Another royal family tradition that was recently derailed was the christening of Lilibet Diana at St. George's Chapel in Windsor Castle. As NBC's royal correspondent Neil Sean divulged, per an Express report published in late September, Prince William denied Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's request to hold Lilibet's christening at St. George's, which is where they tied the knot. Sean said, per the Express, both Harry and Meghan were very keen to make that return and make sure that christening happened, particularly in front of Her Majesty the Queen. However, the christening never took place, as Sean explained. There was one person who basically decided there wasn't an appetite for this, and the person that seemingly is, so far, not willing to kiss and make up with his younger brother. According to a very good source, Prince William was the one who basically said, no, we don't think this is going to work it wasn't a particularly good idea. Royal expert Nick Bullen believes that Harry and Meghan might choose to make the Platinum Jubilee, set to celebrate Queen Elizabeth's birthday and her 70 years as the monarch of Great Britain, a chance for Lilibet to meet every member of the royal family. The royal celebration will be taking place in June 2022. As Bullen told Us Weekly, the Jubilee is a perfect opportunity for that because if Harry and Meghan do come back, because they have to be seen supporting Queen Elizabeth II, it's a great moment for everyone to be together. Similar to his younger sister, Archie Harris and Mountbatten Windsor's christening in July 2019 at Windsor Castle ruffled a few feathers of those who appreciate royal traditions. The christening of Archie differed from other christenings in the past, as it was a completely private ceremony. While reporters do not attend the actual ceremony, they're usually present to snap photos of those royals and other invitees going in and out of the church, as noted by the Sunday Times. Though Prince Harry and Meghan Markle released photos of their new family a few hours after the christening, this deviation from the norm was noticed by many who remembered the photos taken by reporters during the christenings of Prince William and Kate Middleton's children. The public became even more puzzled at the couple's privacy regarding the christening of their son when they did not release the name of Archie's godparents following the special event. In fact, it wasn't until six months after the christening that it was revealed that Archie's godparents are Tiggy Pettifer, Prince Harry and Prince William's former nanny, Mark Dyer, a former assistant of honor to Prince Charles, and Charlie Van Strabenzi, a close friend to Prince Harry, according to Parade. Royal commentator Richard Fitzwilliams told The Express, Harry and Meghan's relations with the British press went badly downhill when Archie was christened in private and the names of the godparents were not released. A few people close to Markle also might have been named Archie's godparents, though their identities have not been released. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more list videos about the royal family are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.